Welcome forward, welcome forward, welcome forward to episode eight of this very special oh, vlog. Shirt. Yeah, wardrobe change. Yeah, I can't yeah, afford yeah. such luxuries, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, episode eight of a very special vlog featuring a brethren, trumpeter, musician, producer, bona fide brethren, Rhythm Works band member. Bob. And um, yeah, so in the previous episode, we were talking about Aswad, your involvement with Aswad. And um, you wanted to be in Aswad more than you wanted to actually be in the dub yeah, band. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, Matumbis. A Matumbi even. Yeah. Rather. So so now you 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 served your tenureship with them, and now you've moved on to the hard rock band, which was Winston Reedy's band yeah. that featured the one and only Jackie Mittal. It was Jackie inside. They done the whole album, the whole of the album there. Jackie Mito, mm -hmm. right? Bertie inside the song, engineer. Alan Weeks, mm -hmm. guitar, the whole of them tune there, right? It's, I can't remember keyboard players that were inside there because I wasn't really there. I used, I used to just go there and just watch Jackie and, and what we had to do, you know? Right? Mm -hmm. That's something we really know and tune in with the, with the maestro. Right. Jackie Mito, reggae. I am near reggae. Yeah. Former member of the Scatterlights. I him, me yeah. and reggae. Yeah, for real. Right, I will not play. He can, he can just say, oh, him moving bodies, reggae, yeah. Yeah. reggae, yeah. reggae. Yeah. Him that. Yeah. No man can tell me. Rest and, in and peace. I, yes, I am. Unless the general that. Unless, unless he name Alton Ellis. Mm. Can't tell me, can't tell me more. But anyhow, yeah. Meeting the hard rock is true. Bertie, mm. Bertie Grant. And coming up there, and I always used to do um, sessions in Easy Street anyway, until one day, you know, we get to do this tune, do, do this album with um, Winston Reedy, the Dimly Lights album. Right. Right? Which, as I said, explained to you earlier on, you know, the, 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 the writers and producers and arrangers in our reggae music, knowing that myself and my brother have a horn phrase and a style yeah. of playing. Right, they would incorporate their writing. They would use, work the work the writing to incorporate our style sure. into the music. Mm. So you can say that yeah, we've influenced a lot of reggae um, writers, you know, arrangers to use our work with our sound mm -hmm. and the way we play. So mm. that's how Winston um, Jackie incorporated it with us. Okay, he bring that in, you know. I think. Uh, there was so much ideas running around in the studio with that dim the light thing, but obviously like dim the light had to be between myself, right, which is me and my brother. I have can't, can't count him out of this, right? Mm -hmm. Right, myself and my brother, Jackie, and 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 Bertie. Right. You know? On the whole album and especially especially on on that one too. I think that was more more me and Jackie. We and Jackie on the dim the light. In fact. Oh, your jar, your jar history again. In fact, I can actually show you, um, because there's an advert for that album. There it is. <laughs> there you go. There it is. That's, there you go. In black and white. In no? black and white, mate. <laughs> Them time when, when, when phone numbers used to be 01, 281, 005. 01. In a light productions. I hope I'm not giving out the address where you still live, Chili. But he's like, he's not lived there. He don't live there no more. He was at 32A Woodstock Road, Finsbury Park, London. Yeah, Finsbury. Finsbury Park. Don't trust the shadows of the other dark. That, 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 rest in peace. Mark Birch, rest in peace, my yes, brother. Fire. Yeah, so, okay, so basically, so, so you, I'm you guys, yeah. you guys basically were the nucleus in recording the Dim the Light album. It was called Dim, yeah. The, yeah, Dim the Light album. And the right? album was came, came out okay. Dim the Light. So, so, what was the, so what was the vibe? I mean... With the bands mm -hmm. and everything. Well, with the, with the album, I mean, which, I mean... Oh, man, it was... It was it was, a, it was, a, it was a joy working on that album, going up to the studio, because we didn't play all the tracks in the same day, you know? Right. So, it was always good. When, when we reached that studio there, mm. really nice. Mm. The easy street again. Okay. <laughs> right? So, how long, so how, long, how long did it take you to complete the album? Well, we done our we done our bits in like a week, about over 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 like three sessions, three days. Right. You know, time to write, time to get you know soak up the vibes. Right. For, for, for the studio. Okay. And I did like going up this one, just, just 
that's been up there around around the maestro. Mm -hmm. You know? And other maestros like Alan Weeks and them man there, you know? Right. So um yeah, the, the 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 time the time we spent making the album was was very good, very informative for me too. Right. Learning curve for me. I was working working with the maestro Jackie Mitto, mm -hmm. you know. And then um, then Winston put the band together now. In Manchili put put up the band together. Okay. And this is where I got to meet um, Merrick and and the man I even won, won the food shop one um one stop one stop yeah mm -hmm. big food chain and mm -hmm. everything there mm -hmm. right they were doc they were doctors i think he was a dentist and one was a uh, they all had different jobs right but they, they all came together and they made a band and the, the musician and was tight mm. everything was it was tight it was like Who's the next rough card? But it's not rough card. You mm. understand what I said? But mm. it's a band. We're tight. Mm. Very good band. Mm. And um, all of a sudden, we got a we got a tour going on. We got a tour going on. A big tour. Okay, you need you need to rewind on this. Okay, so basically, you release you release the out. You release. They've released it. They they released. Okay, so so was Dim the Lights the first track to be released on the album? I think Dim the Light was the first song. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Dim the Light was the first one because in my Data's a Zion that came after. Oh, that came after. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I I'm sure. So. I'm sure. Yeah? Came, I'm sure Daughters of Zion came, be came okay, before right, that. Right, well, there you go, brother. Because yeah. Daughters, Daughters of Zion was on. It was on the S and T label. Don't really quote me. Don't really too quote me on, on that. We're, we're having we're having senior moments, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you know, you, you know, we can't help it. We can't help it. We're just old. <laughs> but my brain's still working good. Pro tandem. All right, go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Cause it was cause it was Daughters of Zion. I remember Daughters of Zion and Roots Rocking were but were, were, were kind of running in tandem. I'm sure they were. Oh, Daughters of Zion. Yeah. Won't you have a way with me? Yeah, cause that was that was that was a, it was a spy Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a, um. Uh... Yeah, Daughters of Zion and Roots Rocking. Da da yeah. da da. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah. So um, that was so. Dim the lights must have been after. Dim, dim the lights must have been after. I'm sure it's. Oh, well, it could have been. It could have been because like uh, yeah, it could have been actually because like uh, when we were on tour, dim the lights was the song that 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 Winston was pushing forward. Right. Okay. Okay. And that tour was well. I said that uh, we all come together after the album and blah blah blah. And that tour was support to UB4. Stop top. We we we, we even get. We, let's not go into that right now. But okay, so. So you released uh, no, dim, the, dim, the, dim the Lights. Dim the Lights just... Mad the players. Mad the players. Right. I couldn't believe it. How long, how long, how long was that song number one for? Oh, no, I was up and down running all over the world. That was a few years, man. That was a oh. sky for long. I yeah. didn't think it was going to stop. That was, that, was like, that was in double digits. Had to be. It was like, oh, it must have been over 10 weeks that, that song was at number one. And everyone's going, why are the demands, man? Yeah. yeah. The intro, boom. Da, ba, da, ba, ba, Giant da, ba, 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 come here again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like if you if you weren't moving, if you were, if you weren't moving when you hear that tune, there is like something wrong. It's either your bad mind or your, or your comatose. One of the two. But, uh, but that, are you cold and you're frightened, that woman? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that song, that song was like that. That song was like a calling card for even it. me. I'm not a dancer. Cause me, I was a dance man still, so it was just a funny thing being a being a performer. Yeah. I don't really want to dance when, when I'm not performing. Right, I right. mean, it's like a job. But why, when when Dim the Lights come, I had to draw my baby mother. I have to dance with her. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, man, them tune it off, man. So okay, so so the tune was a hit, number one for weeks on end. Tour. Where did you tour? We toured you. We toured England. With you, with support to UB40 of all groups. Yeah. I oh, know. Hello. <laughs> man, man, go on Facebook again. Right, this issue is. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Well, we had. <laughs> oh, you're doing that again. This UB40. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Well, while she's looking for that, right, right here it is. I'm going to tell you, here Jackie is. Mitchell had the greatest. Here it is. Double page feature. No less. Look. Huh? Hey, let's have a butchers at that. <laughs> what am I doing with the guitar, man? I don't know, mate. 
Right, there's Patrick. Oh, no, yeah, I'm down here. Yeah, there you are as well. Shh, blood. Right. right, let me just show, let me just show you where. Let me just show oh, you. Oh, not. Let me just show you where Patrick is. He must have been smoking some good weed because he didn't even know what he was playing. At the, <laughs> he's playing guitar in that in that line up there. He must have left. I don't know where he left. He must have left his trumpet somewhere else. He must have left well, it I'm, I'm on a picture down here playing trumpet. Look, there I am. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's me and my brother. That's how, that's how it all began. Right, so there, there is Patrick playing trumpet and there's Buttons, his brother, and there's Brian Travers and oh, Astro cool. from UB40 playing saxophone and trumpet respectively. So, okay. Just, right, so here... That's the hard rock band. Yeah, so that was a hard rock band. So yeah, Winston Reedy there. You've got Earl Falconer who plays bass for UB40 and that is... Bertie, Stammer Grant, and that is Astro, right? So it's fair to say that Winston was tight amongst their man there, right? So, so you was touring a support act for UB40. Yeah, and I, um, later on, because like, no, I know I'm tired, no, I'm tired, the business, fucking idiot, <laughs> right? Yeah, it go, right? Yeah. Jackie, yeah. did I work with UB40? Yeah. On an album that was named because of the works that the great maestro done for UB40. Right. The album was called Labor of Love. Right. Reason, because Jackie not getting no money for it. Wow. Sell a bag a million across the world. Yeah. The man them wouldn't even, the UB40 man them, wouldn't even looking at them. In at themselves and say, well, at least Jackie didn't want no money, you know. All right. He, he, he just wanted, he just want like, certainly because through the time, and he want to do this, you know, and Jackie didn't want no money, you know. But we make multi-millions off of it. Actually, we grossed three and a half, four million off of that album. All right, we're going, we're we going, didn't even want to give Jackie, going, saying, Jackie, shut, we're going ahead. shut we're, up and just hold that. <laughs> we're going ahead. We're going ahead. I'm sticking, I want to stick with the hard rock band and the tour. That was it. That was it. Hard Rock Band and the tour, we toured with Hard Rock. It was great. Um, Stanley, Prince Stanley Andrews yeah, 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 on yeah, guitar. Yeah, Andrew, yeah. He's calling the Robot Man. Big up, Stanley. <laughs> oh, Big up, Les. <laughs> and there's a the robot call coming up. Yeah, he's working with Billy Ocean now. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's with I, Billy Ocean yeah, for, for, for many years. Yeah. Right? But the tour was a success. Actually, you before you were so frightened of us, right, that Brian... Come Carl with to work and do two numbers in their set. In this their is, set. This is not encore, bring back the bring back right. the band, you know, we're all one big family together, giving right. you entertainment people. Do you like no? Introduce me and my brother onto the set, right. onto their tunes. While you was while you was toying with Winston. While I'm in the Winston Reedy hard rock band and toying with Winston Reedy, I know so I know some man must say, oh, blah, blah, whatever, mm. right? But a man just called me and said, "Come on the stage." And mm. if a man called me, come on the stage. I'm coming on the stage. Yeah. I can come on the stage. Yeah. So me and my brother used to blow down the place and say, "You before he liked having us on the tour." Stick up in. That's where we're going to cut the conversation for this episode, which is episode eight. So we're going to go into episode nine next. And we're going to chronicle your tenure with UB40. Boom. And that deserves an episode all on its own. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And we're soon forward. Peace.